Hello and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis. So I have a really important one for you today where I'm going to be explaining the current trades that I'm in right now on Bitcoin. You might be wondering, are you still in that short position, Daniel? I'll be letting you know in this video and how I am looking to take these new trades over the next 24 48 hours maximum. Okay, so we're looking more at the smaller term time frame here, what's happening right now, and you know how we're looking to take this over, yeah, shorter term 24 hours, really, okay, potentially 48 hours. So short term outlook, hope that you really enjoy the video. As always, I'm going to start off the video going through the last 24, 48 hours of price action to really how we got down to this level. Why are we bouncing? Where we're bouncing? Where is the current resistance? Uh, so of course, I'm going to educate you first. And I would like to pick up directly where we left off the last video. Obviously, we had fake done the fake out of the top of the triangle, made our way down, retested that point of control, and we're hovering down at around, you know, $42,000 zone. In that video, I made it very clear. I was in a short position. I had no interest in longing until a sign of strength or, you know, much better option waiting for lower. And of course, from that, we dropped thousands of dollars more to the downside. And just shout out to the people that paid close attention because people were interested in closing their short positions. But from that video, from making it clear I was short, people held on to those short positions. <laughs> short and chill, waiting for lower. You know, this guy, for example, making 600% gains off of that short position. This guy as well, also almost closed his short position, but went along with what I was saying and he earned his house payment. Uh, so that was just like brilliant. Some of the things that you can, you know, just totally eye-opening. A lot of people in this market think, oh, I only want a long Bitcoin. I can only make money when it's going up. No, you can make money when Bitcoin is going down. And right there was a lovely example of that. And obviously brings us over, you know, a few, you know, 24 hours later after this, we did make our way down. We obviously went from, you know, $42,000 all the way down to the end, coming out there at around $37,000. So quite a drop. And, you know, that's what really started off this current range that we have here. OK, if you know me by now, you know that I am the creator, by the way, of these daily and weekly levels. This is a theory that I have created myself. And now, by the way, many other people are using. Uh, but nevertheless, this was created by myself. And you know how massively important these weekly, daily and monthly levels are. They, they are our bread and butter, what we are using day in, day out. Really, really key, important levels. And we actually had some new levels here on the chart, uh, obviously from coming into Monday morning. We had this new weekly at 37,700. Obviously this new daily at $39,382. Might wanna just write these down. Just, just talking you through the thought process that I had yesterday. Uh, yesterday morning, 6 a.m., writing in the side of my Discord, hey, we've hit the weekly. You know, we've hit the weekly level of support, and we're obviously getting a bit of a bounce underway there. We did get a retest at around, you know, just before 9 a.m., so about three hours after the, after this. We we did get a retest, and you can see the real perfect retest that you got here. You'd get a retest of the level. You know, people naturally going to be taking their longs in the group off of, off of these key levels of support. And what's really interesting, if you pay full attention to this, oh, FYI, this was also posted on Twitter. Uh, this was also posted on Twitter. So if you're not following us on Twitter, you should follow because I gave this one <laughs> very clearly as well. Obviously looking for those longs off of the weekly level. We were getting that bit of a bounce underway. At this point, we had got a market structure change. We got the re uh, you know a bounce off the weekly, a retest of the weekly, a market structure change. You can see very clearly the upside level that we had on our chart and it was this daily coming in there around yet yeah, once again $39,400 go follow us on Twitter if you want that level was given for free um, but obviously inside of the group what are we thinking here we're thinking okay we obviously have got that long off of the weekly what are the level we're taking it to it's the daily and I just want to emphasize here some really important key theory that we are looking at when we're taking these trades so the first thing we're looking at is obviously um is there a reaction? Yes or no. That's a simple yes or no answer. Then we're zooming in to look at things such as the order flow. We're looking for, uh, you know, our delta, our open interest. And, on, you know, obviously we can start to go more in depth of this when we start to come over to our more, you know, complex templates. We can be looking at the high, low, the time, the trade counts. This is all really helpful information for primarily your, your, your day traders. OK, but nevertheless, this is the type of information that we want to be looking at. And you will notice that on just as on the low on the weekly up to the high of the daily, you are left with trap positions on both. And you actually left with it on this third position, which I'm going to show you in a, in a few minutes. Now, the order flow, I've been saying it time and time and time again over the last few months. This order flow recently is just an absolute gold mine. It is just giving you the best heads up possible. It's extremely, extremely, extremely valuable. 
But not only that, yesterday we obviously come up, we had already that long of the weekly, then we had, we managed to be given that short then off the daily. And it's like this, you can be long and short simultaneously. Again, then it's waiting for these positions to, to play out. I want to just explain briefly some of the confluence that we had at this level, okay? We obviously had the daily itself, not only just the daily, we also had uh, the, the gap fill, and this is what I want to emphasize here, the, the gap fill that was really important level, okay? So obviously we are aware of the CME gap. Uh, this was from the Champions live stream on Sunday, by the way. We recognize that this, why was this such an important gap this week? Again, I'm marking this out on the Bybit chart. I'm able to predict where, where this was going to come in on, on Bybit. And so I'm recognizing, hey, we have a really nice CME gap here around 39 Three five five dollars. Why is this such an ICME gap this week? Because it was on the daily and it was on just above these highs. Okay, so if I add on the CME gap for you here, okay, so this is what we were looking at again on, on the buy bit chart. So we had recognized, hey, we got a CME gap here, just above these series of highs, which is also, you know, it happened to be on, on the daily. So all we have to do is have an alert set. This is such a key level. Let's wait for the alert to go off and see the reaction. And then this is the reaction that you get off of it. A move into the level, which ended in obviously a rejection with once again, 68, 68 million plus 32 million up into those highs, positive delta, open interest increases, and you're simply left with a rejection candle, okay? You actually had selling imbalances coming out of this with longs getting stopped out pretty quickly, okay? So it's a simple case of understand the plan, okay? Obviously, it took 24 hours, but we'd come up to that level. We then have the alert, we have the open interest, we have the order flow on our side. We're ending with a swing failure pattern, essentially, okay? We could also refer to it as a failed auction here, to be honest. You have this failed auction, into the rejection of your daily, into the rejection of this, you know, filling the, that CME gap with the trap traders that we really wanted to actually see off the back of this. And so when you're thinking about this, there is no surprise that you get the full rejection all the way down. Where did you come down to? You come down to the lower range, breaking through that weekly. And this is what's then really important on the flip side. It's like this guy said, and this is you know, very helpful to, to recognize. You were then left with then trap shorts at the low. So just as longs got really aggressive long in the breakout, you had shorts opening at the low, shorting the breakdown. So it's a simple case of what's the biggest pain here? It is going to be remaining range bound. And as you can kind of see here, when you zoom in a little bit, you originally lost the weekly, back tested a perfect support resistance flip down once more, up through the level, giving you your market structure change. And once again, you got a really nice back test of that weekly, Pretty simple stuff. Back test of the weekly. You've reclaimed the level. What's going to be happening? You're looking for a rotation back up to the top of the range. And that really brings us to where we are now. So I hope I've explained really, really well here. Really, really, really well. <laughs> I hope I've explained very well here the, um, you know, the importance of the, of the original plan of actually recognizing that we are in the downtrend. Recognizing here on Friday, I'm not going to long here. I'm going to wait for lower. Once we got lower, it's then recognizing where are my important support and resistance levels. Obviously, for me, this was recognized fairly early on with the importance of the weekly and the daily. This daily, obviously, in confluence with our CME gaps, which once again, we had marked out 24 hours in advance. And then it's a simple case of waiting for the reaction up here, seeing a rejection, entering a short position. OK, on the flip side, seeing us lose the weekly, not going into a long straight away, but waiting, what for? For a reclaim. And then really simply trading this as a range bound environment. So I hope I've given you a few really nice tips there and you've learned things that you're looking for, learning how to, you have to, you really have to understand right now the order flow. If not, you are trading blind. You're at a massive disadvantage, to be honest. And, you know, then once we've started to recognize this order flow, we're starting to recognize how to read this. We've got our levels marked out. It's really simply a patience game trading in a calm, collected manner. So that's the the, the start of the video, nine minutes. Well, wow. and now I want to go over what's happening next. Okay. One, what well, actually two quick things that I want to mention. The first one was something that just went straight to my heart in a, in a ball of love. And I just want to pass on the love to all of you right now watching this. And this was the fact that, that for the first time in my life, I'm not sure how we refer to this as just fan mail or just people loving what we do and sending their sending their regards, I suppose. Uh, yeah, that really, really, really warmed my heart. People sending some gifts, handmade stuff. Um, we even got the little Fibonacci in it. I mean, it was it was just, yeah. I just want to say like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Never, I didn't, I just kind of, I was left speechless in a really, really good way. And I just want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Uh, obviously you don't need to send gifts and stuff, but, but yeah, that really made me feel uh, very loved and appreciated. So um, 
yeah thank you thank you thank you for the people that sent the uh things obviously some letters as well you can pause if you're interested in reading these but the, these letters were like really 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 full of love as well and um yeah i just want to say thank you for the letters for the gifts for all the people um yeah that was really 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 heartwarming wow what what an experience first time in my life i've ever received that so yeah thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh i hope to keep doing well in everything that i bring you obviously it's appreciated it's loved and uh i love to give it back so thank you ever so ever so ever so much for that and the second quick announcement that i want to do is that we have a new contenders live stream tomorrow and this truly is an important one this is about the hedging in trading okay I'm going to go in uh, into what hedging is, how I personally use it pretty much every single day. So it's a key part of my whole trading strategy. I'm going to be covering that tomorrow in the Contenders live stream. Obviously, if that's interesting for you, chartchampions.com, where you can sign up and um, you know be in that live stream tomorrow. Um, so yeah, that's just the second announcement that I want to do. And now let's get back to the charts. So Yes, naturally, we are in advantageous positions once again, where one can be simultaneously, and this is a form of hedging, by the way, so if you want, <laughs> it's going to be kind of a, one of the parts that we're talking about tomorrow, how you can be holding positions simultaneously. You can be short from the top of the range of the daily, you can be long from the reclaim of, of the weekly. Okay, so you're in a short and a long simultaneously. And then it's a game of you will definitely have taken profits on the short, you'll have definitely taken profits at the long right, on the long right now. Why would you have taken profits on the long? Well, look at this. OK, it's fairly simple stuff. So if you are in a short and a long, you've both hit take profits on the rest of the trades. What can we be doing now? We can be really simply trading this as a range bound environment. We can see very clearly we've gone from the highs to the lows to the highs to the lows in trying to work its way back up to the high. OK, obviously, we're at the point of control right now. So we can play this simply like this, can't we? Let's say that it comes up to the top of the range and it breaks out, retests and gets a strong follow through. Well, really simply then, we would not take a short at the top of the range because we have seen a strong breakout, okay? The alternative is that we come up to the top of the range and we come back into the range like this. And that obviously gives us a short opportunity, okay? This is clearly a short opportunity, why? Because we come up to the top of the range, we're back into the range with trap shorts, a clear rejection here. Originally, you're thinking to yourself, I'm not gonna long this because we retested and moved back down once more. But once we got the retest, the reclaim, change of MS, leaving then these trap traders and the retest, naturally gives a long trade. So you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, you can see how we are planned and prepared for this. The, the, the way it's planned out is because we have got these levels, again, once, you know, these levels you have to remember are very thought out in advance. They're not random. They're not anything else other than really technical levels, okay? So we've got our plan from doing our technical analysis. We are then really prepared to long the market. We're prepared to short the market in whichever way is the highest probability. Okay, period. We're only after taking the very best trades. There's no space for mediocre, <laughs> mediocre. Oh my, oh my. I embarrass myself sometimes, but I'm going to plow through it like a champion. We are not striving to be, I'm just going to say to be average. <laughs> We're not, we don't want to be average yeah we want uh, only be the best and how do you only be the best you only take the best trades okay so we're not gambling we're not taking trades in the middle of the range we are only waiting on higher probability trades and in a range bound environment we're waiting for those rejections where the reclaims off of the significant levels on our chart and for me right now that really is the daily and it is the weekly okay obviously if we break the weekly then we'd look naturally for our next level low. And if we break and hold the daily, we can be looking for our next level above us. But at the moment, we are simply remaining range bound. At the highs, we look for shorts. At the lows, we look for longs. Of course, if it breaks out, we, we can acknowledge, hey, there's not a short to be had here. And we look for higher, just as the flip side on the weekly. But at the moment, we are teaching you in this video to trade the range until it breaks. Very important emphasis on the order flow and monitoring this as we hit those really important levels, okay? And then it's a case of, you know, really simply trading the charts, not what you want, not what you think, not what you want, <laughs> but what's actually happening, okay? And in the meantime, you know, there's there's plenty of altcoins today to be trading as well. Uh, if you wanna know what I would be looking at, I think Link is a nice trade today against Tether. And again, Atom is another one that I personally really like to trade recently. Not much volatility this morning, but over the last few days, it's been amazing as well. Those are two altcoins that I'm personally going to be trading this morning. 
Well, that's a bit of coming into the outlet. It's only 10 a.m. But those are the true trades that I've already been taking this morning. Uh, Atom and Link and, you know, Bitcoin, I'm, I'm remaining a bit patient on after a nice TP off of the, off of the point of control. We can now wait for some resolution coming into the New York Open, which is obviously in, uh, in about four hours time. New York Open going to be looking for the next step of volatility um, as that stock market opens. So, uh, yeah, that was the talk through that I wanted to give you today. Talk you through how the importance of holding on to short positions until you get a high probability trade is. Then once you've got a high probability trade, recognizing your next levels above and below you, taking those trades, no emotions, really simply extracting money from this market. Simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. Hope that you've really enjoyed this video. Again, if you want to learn everything that we teach, that's all inside of the mentorship that you can sign up to today. And uh, I'll see you in that live stream tomorrow if that's of interest to you. I will sign off now and just say thank you ever so much. I truly hope you've learned something today. And um, yeah, that's it. I will end by saying this, of course, not financial advice. Demo the paper trades only and uh, enjoy your day. Thank you ever so much. No financial advice. Goodbye. <laughs>